What happened to the Dash 8? Where are they gone, and where are they now? Before we answer those questions, let's go over exactly what a Dash 8 is. The Dash 8 is a locomotive made by General Electric. Production started in the late 80s and ended in the mid 90s when GE released the Dash 9. Dash 8s came in lots of varieties. The earlier ones had standard cabs and could have either four or six axles. Later models saw the introduction of the wide cab, which is still used on GE locomotives today. And just like later models, the wide cab versions also had the option of four or six axles. And then there's what I like to call the Canadian style Dash 8. It's got a unique cow type car body, but on the inside is a normal Dash 8. As far as I'm concerned, these only came with six axles. Now that you're up to speed on what a Dash 8 is, let's go over what happened to them and why they really ain't seen anymore. Pretty much all Dash 8s were retired from mainline service by the 2010s. Typically, when a locomotive is pulled from mainline service, it's put in rail yards to do switching, shunting, and serve as local power. It's like getting a new lease on life. But this isn't what happened to the Dash 8s. When it came time for them to be retired, railroads already had plenty of switcher units in their yards. And on top of that, lots of Dash 8s were approaching the end of their service life. For some locomotives, they would need hundreds of thousands of dollars in repairs. And for the railroad, it just wasn't worth it to spend that much money on an already outdated engine. Since Dash 8s weren't needed in the yard and weren't needed on the main line, they began to pile up by the hundreds on storage tracks across the nation. Now this wasn't true for all Dash 8s, because a few did slip through the cracks and were put on yard duty. Heck, just a few months ago I caught BNSF 551 leading a power move around Galesburg, but this is an extremely rare sight. For most Dash 8s, they were stowed away until the railroad decided what to do with them. When railroads no longer have a need for old locomotives, they're typically sold off or scrapped, and this is exactly what happened to the Dash 8s. Lots of these engines were sold to smaller railroads who still use them even to this day. Just look at the Arkansas-Oklahoma Railroad. They bought two Dash 8s from BNSF and used them all the time. Or the late Pan Am Railway. They had a sizable fleet of Dash 8s before they got bought by CSX. But the majority of Dash 8s didn't get so lucky, and they never left the storage track. Let's look at BNSF's locomotive storage yard in Galveston, Texas. You can find dang near every single Dash 8 model here, just rotting away. Every now and then, parts might be taken off them to repair other locomotives, but there's not a lot of functional parts left to remove anymore. Nowadays, these engines are just shells, waiting to be scrapped. Today, you can still find a few Dash 8s in service with Class 1 railroads. There's BNSF 551, like I mentioned earlier, or CSX 7823. Speaking of CSX, they've actually revived the Dash 8 a bit. After they bought Pan Am Railways, they took their Dash 8 fleet and put them in service. I don't know how long CSX will keep them around, but it's nice to know they're out there. Amtrak also still uses Dash 8s, but they're a rare sight because P40s and 42s are their preferred road locomotive. There's even a Union Pacific Dash 8 in preservation at the Illinois Railway Museum. I'm pretty sure it's fully functional too. And then you have the short line railroads. These are what's really keeping the Dash 8 alive. The Class 1 railroads could care less if they had to get rid of their remaining Dash 8s, but for Class 2 and 3 railroads, they usually can't afford to lose any locomotives. So it's going to be these small companies that are going to keep the Dash 8s rolling, hopefully for many more years. Dash 8s are still around, you just have to know where to look. While it's true that their numbers have been cut down significantly, there's still plenty in operation. Sometimes you can get lucky and see one in transit between yards, or maybe catch one on a local freight. But if you're really hunting for a Dash 8, your best bet would be to visit short line railroads, storage tracks, or large rail yards like Galesburg, Bailey, or Inman. 
And for anyone in the Western Illinois area, I know a place where you can go and see a Dash 8 right now. In Galesburg, Illinois, there's a storage track with a line of engines, and at the southwestern end is BNSF 524. Get your picks in while you can, cause this locomotive's gonna be scrapped. Its engine ran without coolant for heaven knows how long, and it's totally unusable. I don't know when this line of engines will be moved, but time's definitely ticking, and they won't be here forever. Thanks for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, consider checking out some other ones of mine. Till next time.